Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss all about circles. First, let us discuss the overview of conic section and the definition and equation of a circle. How to find the equation of a circle given this, uh, using the standard form given the point of a center and the radius. So, but before we proceed to our discussion, don't forget to like our videos and subscribe na rin kayo. So, a conic section is the intersection of a plane and a cone. Observe the shape of the slice that results. The angle at which the cone is slice produces four different types of conic sections. So, yung conic sections class, this is the first topic na i-discuss sa pre-calculus. But, uh, focus lang muna tayo ngayon sa circles. So, pag sinabi natin conic, conic, so from the word cone so isipin na lang natin yung cone ng ice cream di ba kapag in slice natin or hinati natin yan uh, yung part ng cone natin makapag-produce yan ng four different types ng curve so first so kapag kinat natin yung cone natin parallel dun sa base okay so kapag kinat natin yung cone natin parallel dun sa base makapag-form siya ng circle. So, itong kinat natin, ang form niyan ay circle. And then, kapag kinat natin yung cone natin, not parallel dun sa base, ibig sabihin, hindi siya parallel dito sa base natin, kagaya nito, ang mapuform natin curve ay ellipse. So, again, so itong mga to ay pag-aaralan natin sa mga susunod na discussion. So, ngayon pinapakita ko lang sa inyo yung four different types of conic sections. Again, once na kinat natin, okay, or in slice natin yung cone natin, not parallel dun sa base natin, ang mapuform natin ay ellipse. And then, kapag yung pagkat natin or pag slice natin, Parallel dun sa slant height ng cone. Ito yung slant height ng cone. Okay, kapag parallel siya dyan, ang mapuform natin ay parabola. So again, kapag yung pagkat natin o yung pag-slice natin ay parallel dun sa slant height ng cone, parabola yung mapuform natin. And then, kapag... Uh, yung pagkat naman natin ay hindi siya parallel dun sa slant height natin, kagaya nito, no? Hindi siya parallel dun sa slant height natin. Ang mapuform natin dyan is hyperbola. So, ito yung four different types of conic sections na i-discuss natin. Yung iba, yung tatlong ito sa susunod na discussion. So, this time, focus lang tayo sa circle. So, all about circle. So, a circle is consists of all points on the plane equidistance from a fixed point called the center. So, ang tawag natin dito, so point na is the center of the circle. So, the distance, yung distance from the center, okay, the distance from the center to any point of the circle is constant and is called the radius of the circle. So, ang tawag natin sa distance mula dito sa center ng circle from any point. So, pwedeng dito. So, kung iikot mo itong point na to pag ganito, same lang yung distance niya. So, ang tawag natin dyan ay yung radius natin. The standard form, so ito, yung focus natin sa lesson na to yung paano natin kunin yung equation uh, gamit yung standard form ng circle. So, the standard form of the equation of a circle is x minus h squared. So, yung h is the value of x ng center natin plus y minus k squared. So, yung k natin dito, yung value ng y sa center natin is equal to r squared. So, yung r natin dito is yung radius natin. Kapag yung center natin, yung point natin, yung center natin ay nasa origin, ang magiging equation ng circle natin class ay ganito. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, tatandaan natin. So, wala na tayong ganyan, no? Walang ganito kapag 
nangyayari lang yan kapag yung center natin ay nasa origin. Okay? Nasa origin yung center natin. So, kagaya nito. So, kapag nasa origin yung center natin, ibig sabihin 0, 0 yung center natin. So, find the equation of a circle with center at the origin and a radius of 5 units. So, ibig sabihin yung center natin is 0, 0 since nasa yung uh, point ng center natin or yung point ng circle natin ay nasa origin which is 0, 0 and the radius is 5. So, sabi ko kanina kapag yung uh, center natin ay nasa origin so, ibig sabihin yung magiging equation natin ay ganyan. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, Ang papalitan na lang natin dyan is yung value ng r. So, ano ba yung value ng r natin? That is 5. Yung, or yung radius natin, 5. And then, squared natin, 5 squared. Ibig sabihin, imumultiply natin twice uh, sa sarili nyo. 5 times 5, so that is 25. So, yung equation natin, yung equation ng circle na nasa center, yung, orig, uh, nasa, yung point ng center natin ay nasa origin with radius of 5 units is x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Another example, write the equation of a circle centered at 0, 3 and with radius 6. So, ngayon, hindi na sa center yung, ah, hindi na sa origin yung center natin. So, nasa 0, 3 na. So, kapag up natin yan. And yung radius natin this time is 6. So, apply na natin yung standard form of the equation of the circle. So, yung h natin dito is 0. Yung k natin is 3. Applying the standard form of the equation of the circle. So, ito. Yung x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So, kapag ganito class, kapag 0 yung value ng h natin, automatic x squared na lang yan. So, ganun din. Kapag yung k natin ay 0, y squared na lang din to. So, ang substitute na lang natin is yung value ng k. Since yung k natin is positive, so, ang mangyayari at saka yung r. So, papalitan na din natin yung r. So, that will become x squared plus y minus. So, papalitan lang yung k. So, yung k natin is 3, positive 3. So, y minus 3 squared is equal to, so yung r natin is 6, so 6 squared, so 6 times 6, that is 36. So, ito yung equation ng circle natin. x squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 36. Another example, uh, your center is at the 2, uh, so it's a point 2 and negative 5 and with radius of 10. So, yung h natin is 2 and yung k nyo ay negative 5. So, in yung radius natin is 10. So, apply the standard form of the equation of the circle. So, papalitan lang natin, substitute natin yung value ng h and k. So, since yung h natin is positive, so, walang mangyayari dito sa sign. Walang magbabago. So, x minus 2, uh, x minus pa rin. No? Minus pa rin yung sign natin dito. So, kasi yung h natin is positive. So, x minus 2 squared. And yung k natin is negative. Since yung k natin ay negative, so, ang mangyayari dyan class, di ba, negative na to. So, negative times negative 5. Kasi kung papalitan natin yung k, so, negative times negative 5, kaya siya naging positive. Okay? So, madaling sabi class, kapag uh, positive yung value natin, so, still yung sign natin. Okay? And then, kapag dito, kapag negative yan, magbabago. Kasi pag minultiply mo yan, maging positive. So, ganyan din ang mangyayari kapag yung case ay nandito sa x. Okay? Kung ang h natin ay negative din, magiging positive din to. And then, yung r natin is 10. So, 10 times 10, that is 100. So, the equation is the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of y plus y squared is equal to 100. Another example, so the center is at 1, 5 and the given radius is square root of 17. So, paano ito? Hindi siya uh, 
exact number or whole number, no? So, meron tayong square root of 17. So, paano gagawin? So, identify first the value of H, that is 1, and the value of K, that is 5. So, substitute. Since yung H natin is positive, so that is X minus 1 squared. And then yung K natin is positive also. That is Y minus 5 squared. So, papalitan lang natin. Is equal to, so yung R natin is square root of 17. So, kapag ganitong case class, paano natin pre-process yung mga ganito? Kapag may square root tayo, and then in-squared natin yan, matatanggal ito, no? yung radical sign natin. Bakit? So, kung maalala nyo, during your grade 9, tinuruan kayo from, uh, sa ganitong rush, tapos i-exponential natin. Kapag, kasi pag ni-write natin into exponential to magiging 17 raised to 1 half tapos raised to 2, no? And then, ma-cancel natin yung 2. So, ang maiwan na lang, 17 raised to 1. So, 17 raised to 1, 17. Or, mas madaling tandaan, kapag nasa uh, may square root ka, and then, in-squared mo yan, matatanggal to. So, maiwan yung nasa loob. So, the answer will be, the quantity of x minus 1 squared plus y minus 5 squared is equal to 17. So, another example, uh, this time, kung kanina, uh, given yung center and radius natin, given yung center ng circle at yung radius natin, kukunin natin yung equation. Ngayon naman, given yung equation, hahanapin natin yung center sa radius. Kabalik tara naman. So, kapag ganito, x squared plus y squared, automatic class, yung center natin yan, 0, 0. Okay? So, kapag ang equation nyo, ay ganito, ganitong format, x squared plus y squared, ang center nyo, ang center ng circle natin ay nasa origin yan. So, 0, 0 yan. So, tingnan natin. So, ito yung maging equation kapag yung circle natin, ang center niya ay nasa origin. So, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, yung r squared natin here is 64. So, paano natin makukuha yung radius natin? So, kunin lang natin yung square root ni 64. Ano yung square root ni 64? That is 8. So, ibig sabihin yung equation natin is x squared plus. So, yung magiging radius natin dito is 8. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yung center natin, okay, yung center natin is 0, 0. And yung radius natin is 8 units. Another example, so... The equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to 19. So, same process since yung center natin ay nasa origin. So, yung point natin doon ay 0, 0. So, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, yung r squared natin is 19. So, paano ulit makukuha yung radius? I square root lang natin yung 19. So, square root of 19, so walang exact number no, square, sa square root of 19 kasi hindi siya perfect squared, ay per, perfect number. So, as is nila yung sagot natin na square root of 19. So, yung center natin ay 0, 0. So, at yung radius natin ay square root of 19. Another, we have x squared plus w, the quantity of y minus 2 squared is equal to 49. So, x squared, so kapag x squared, automatic 0 yan, no? So, ilagay natin muna yung given natin. So, kapag x squared, yung given, na, ibig sabihin, yan ay 0. So, yung h natin ay 0. Dito, ano yung value ng k natin? So, y minus 2, since yung k natin ito yon so that is positive 2. And then, kunin natin itong square root ni 49 para makuha natin yung radius. So, square root ni 49 ay 7. So, yung center natin ay 0, 2. So, nasa 0, 2. And then, yung radius natin ay 7. Next, we have x or the quantity of x plus 7 squared plus the quantity of y minus 5 squared is equal to 56. Since positive yung sign natin, paano nangyayari? Bakit nag, nagiging plus yung nandito? Ibig sabihin, yung h natin dito ay negative. Kasi di ba yung standard form natin dito, x minus h. So, kapag yung h natin ay negative, magiging 
positive ito. So, magiging plus yan. So, therefore, kung naging plus yan, yung H natin dyan ay negative 7. Tatandaan na kapag plus ito, or kahit dito rin, yung magiging value ng H nyo ay negative yun. Okay? So, negative 7. And here, since negative pa rin to, yung K natin still positive. So, 5 pa rin. And then, kunin natin yung square root ng 56. Since square root ng 56, pwede pa natin. May simplest form pa to. So, ang gagawin lang natin, think of a number na perfect number siya na kapag multiply sa isang number, ang sagot ay 56. So, ano yun? 4 and 14. So, 4 times 14. Kasi yung 4, perfect number yan. So, ibig sabihin, makuha natin yung square root ni 4. So, yung square root ni 4 is 2. So, mala ilalagay natin sa labas ng radical natin. Square root of 14. So, ito yung simplest form ni uh, square root of 56. That is 2 square root of 14. So, the center is negative 7 and 5. And the radius is 2 square root of 14. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.